The Mini PCR app makes programming and running your new Mini PCR quick and easy on all devices. Today, we'll go over how to program and run a new protocol to get you started running a PCR. Note that this video refers to the Mini PCR 8X and 16X models. If you're using an older model, refer to the videos linked in the card above and the description below. To set up your Mini PCR, first make sure that you've downloaded and installed the Mini PCR app version 3 or higher. This is available at www.minipcr.com downloads. Both the Mini 8X and Mini 16X are compatible with Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iPhones and iPads, and Chromebooks with access to the Google Play Store. To connect to the Mini PCR via Bluetooth, make sure that Bluetooth is enabled on your device. Ensure that the Mini PCR is connected to power and push the button to turn the machine on. Next, navigate to the Devices tab. On PC, Mac, or Chromebook, this tab is labeled Devices. On mobile, you can access this tab by tapping the small blue M at the top of the main menu. Once in the Devices tab, select the Connect button. On both the computer and the mobile apps, this appears as a white Bluetooth symbol. The blue LED will flash when the thermocycler is searching for a Bluetooth connection. Once connected by Bluetooth, the blue light will stop flashing and remain on. Alternatively, to connect via USB, connect the USB-C cord to both the mini PCR and your device. An adapter can be used if your computer or mobile device does not have a USB-C port. Refer to the user's guide for detailed connection instructions using an adapter. When your mini PCR is successfully connected via USB, the blue LED will stop flashing and remain on. For more details, you can refer to the mini PCR user guide in the description below for connection troubleshooting. The mini PCR should now appear in the list of available devices. Once connected, the name of the device will turn green and the status will change from offline to connected. After connecting to your mini PCR via Bluetooth or USB, you can change the name of each device for easier identification. Today, we will be demonstrating programming on a computer, but the interface is similar on mobile devices. To create a new program, return to the Library tab and click the plus. For this demonstration, we will choose PCR to program a polymerase chain reaction. But first, we'll take a quick look at the other programming options, including heat block, linear ramp, and flex. The heat block option programs the machine to hold one temperature for a set period of time, while linear ramp programs the machine to start at one temperature and slowly ramp to a different temperature over a set period of time. Flex allows you to link different program types together in series, like a PCR followed by a heat block or vice versa. These programs can additionally include touchdown PCR. To program a PCR, enter a name for your new protocol. You have the option to change the time and temperature for every step of the PCR, as well as the number of PCR cycles. The program you will use will depend on the experiment you are doing. For example, in this PCR program, we're going to set our annealing temperature to 55 degrees Celsius and change our extension step to 20 seconds and number of cycles to 25. Once you've completed your program, you may hit save to save the program or save and run to immediately run your new program on a mini PCR that is connected to both a power source and your device and turned on. You can also easily make edits to previously saved programs in the mini PCR app. All you have to do is click on your protocol, click on the edit option, and change your desired parameters. Additionally, you can create a copy of a previously designed program and save it with new modifications. While the mini PCR is running, you can monitor your reaction in the Now Running tab on a PC or Mac, or the Monitor tab on mobile devices. Here you will see basic information about your program, and a timer below the Run Progress bar will show you the remaining time left in your reaction. To better monitor your reaction, the temperature within your thermal cycler is graphed in real time, letting you follow temperature changes as they happen. Animations illustrate the molecular processes going on in the reaction at each stage, helping users new to PCR conceptualize what is occurring in each tube in real time. And finally, a graph depicts the expected exponential amplification of DNA fragments over time. This is the power of the mini PCR app in the classroom. Not only can students directly operate the machine, but fundamentals of biotechnology are reinforced through the app as students follow along with molecular processes as they happen in real time. While your PCR is running, your mini PCR does not need to remain connected to your computer or mobile device. 
If disconnected, it will complete running the program. If reconnected, the app will automatically start recording the progress of your program again. If you need to pause your run for any reason, buttons at the top allow you to pause and restart a run if necessary. When your mini PCR run is complete, the thermal cycler software will chime and the three red, yellow, and green lights on the mini PCR will illuminate and stay illuminated. The app will also show the program as done. And that's it. We've tried to make programming and operating your new mini PCR device as easy as possible. You can stay tuned for some more advanced pro tips or for more information on the learning labs you can perform with your new mini PCR device, you can visit minipcr.com. If you would like to program several mini PCR thermal cyclers at once, simply connect the different machines to your computer or mobile device simultaneously. When you press run on the app, you will be prompted to choose which machines you would like to program. Select the machines you would like to use and press upload. The program will be uploaded to all of the devices simultaneously. You may also run and monitor different programs on different mini PCR thermal cyclers simultaneously. To do this, program each machine individually and run as normal, keeping all the devices connected. Each thermal cycler will be represented by a tab with the machine's name along the top of the app. To monitor different machines, simply select between the different tabs. Your mini PCR 8X and 16X thermal cyclers can be set to automatically start a preloaded program when they are turned on. To use the auto start function, select auto start for the machine you are programming under the devices tab. Program the machine with the power turned off, then disconnect the USB. When the mini PCR is turned on, it will automatically start running the program. Alternatively, you can program the mini PCR via Bluetooth and turn the machine off immediately after hitting save and run. When the mini PCR is turned on again, it will automatically start running the program. The mini PCR app has a number of additional options for advanced users. For more details, you can visit the mini PCR user guide, but briefly. The mini PCR app allows you to import or export your protocol library so that you can share protocols across multiple users or devices. Export run data will provide temperature data from the run in CSV format for post run analysis. You may also select your preferred language. Finally, you can simplify the Now Running tab by choosing to hide the DNA count graph or the molecular animations.